Um, it, is a, it has to do with the issue of red light cameras. I am 100% uh, opposed to red light cameras. Uh, I, I don't like them. I think they're done for the wrong reason. And I really believe, and have a very strongly held belief, that traffic enforcement can be just as effective with warnings as it can with citations and causing people to pay significant amounts of money. Is that traffic enforcement needs to be done for public safety reasons. And if a decision is made to issue a ticket to somebody, it needs to be done based upon dialogue between the citizen violator and the officer. And a lot of environmental factors need to come into play. The officer needs to consider the type of driving involved, needs to consider the uh, factors of weather, needs to con consider whether it's aggressive driving, needs to consider the driver's attitude and whether they accept responsibility for their actions, needs to consider the driver's history. If you have somebody that has absolutely no citations and they're a safe driver and they have no warnings, that's a big difference than the person who's driving down the road at 5 o'clock, weaving in and out of traffic, almost causes a wreck, has got a bad attitude about it, and has four tickets and three warnings in the last six months. Guess what? They need to pay up. Okay? So it needs to be a good decision. This is not a gotcha situation. This should not be a situation where somebody is sitting there in front of a TV monitor or a computer screen, and you got a line in the road, and the car comes up, and whoops, it goes from yellow to red, and the person's wheels touch the line up. Now you got to pay 158 bucks. To me, that's not public safety. That's not good law enforcement. And I totally oppose red light cameras. Now, with that said, you won't see any of the unincorporated area. I had some discussions, and I've been asked that in the past from county commissioners about uh, whether you know we wanted to do that back when we had to have an ordinance. I said I don't support it, and I won't. And, and the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office won't do it. But um, so I, I need to tell you this though. Uh, because you will see red light, and you do see red light cameras in two cities that we do police, in Oldsmar and in South Pasadena. Remember, there's 24 cities in Pinellas County. 13 of them contract with us to be their police provider. So my position on that is, is, is that I don't set the policy for those cities. The city commissions, the city councils, and those individual cities, they get to set the policies in those cities. They pay us to be their police provider. So we do enforce uh, red light camera violations under the contract that we had with South Pasadena and with Oldsmar. Uh, if I was making the decision, they wouldn't be there. But I don't make the decision in those cities, and, and they do pay us to be their police provider. Uh, I ask our deputies to try and use good discretion and good judgment uh, as they're evaluating those red light violations. Uh, but uh, again, I, I don't support them. Uh, I think it's something that we can do without it. We can put resources that affect the traffic enforcement without it being a gotcha situation. So. That's a topic that usually comes up. Um, there's different views on it, um, some hotly debated views on it, but that's my view. Which is probably not the view that you're going to hear from most law enforcement people. Um, but that's my view. So, um, so why don't we open up?